up YouTube? Bunny Films here with a brand new video and we are back in Farming and Friends with a brand new video and we have so many things planned because first off, well, you might notice we only have 296,000 coins. Yet last video, we started that off without 5 million. And the reason is because we have a whole lot of potatoes on our farm. Let's hop into this camera mode just so we can see all of these potatoes. Look at that. Look at all these. Press shift P on your keyboard to do that. But anywho, besides potatoes, we still have to wait a little bit of time for them to grow, which isn't uh, any big deal. But the next thing we have on our agenda is to build. So yes, we have all sorts of things to build. If we go under buildings, I want to build a garage and I keep adding new garages or new pavilions, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and I'm really excited. There's the, oh, the warehouse. I think we had, we had this one at one point. It's just too much, too big. Um, but I did, I really did like, there's one building somewhere in here. I don't remember which one, but I had four garage doors. Oh uh, yes, it's the wooden garage. So the wooden garage has four garage doors allowing you to pull in the vehicle from one end and pull it out the other, which I find really convenient. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get one of these garages down in just a moment. But first off, we have some, oh gosh, so many buttons. We have, <laughs> I've never gone, gone over the one day streak, uh, but, we're going to go ahead and we have to clear some of our equipment out of the way so we can make room for this new garage. So for starters, we need to get this uh, log trailer out of here really quickly. The medium log trailer. There we go. Park it here. And we do have a dog somewhere on the farm. I don't know where. It's alive. That's the good news. Bad news is I don't know where it is. So we'll have to figure that out eventually. Oh, yeah. We need a new milk factory. So that's a new another thing is we don't have a milk factory. I didn't realize that until literally just now. Well, yeah, that's the thing. And now with all of the equipment out of the way, AKA four tractor trailers or four semi trailers, excuse me. And then the log thing, we can go ahead and get this new garage down. Yippee. So this isn't the biggest garage in the game. I mean, there's certainly better choices to make. Also, you have the Craftsman garage, which I really like the look of. It just doesn't have those extra garage doors. And there's also this pavilion, which I absolutely love. Actually, what if we got this instead? Does this look so much better? In my opinion, I like this a lot more. Now what? There's no reason why we shouldn't get that up. Wait, hold on. Where'd it go? Bye. It's super cheap too. It's like half the price of the other garage. So let's see, can we, I think we could fit it there, but at the same time, I don't want to put it there. Let's see, can we put it over here? Maybe oh, we can. Let's see, can I get even closer? No, I can't. Let's see. Well, See, I, I want to get it as closely as possible, but I think the trailer might be in the way. So let's fix that really quickly. So sadly, I don't think we'll be able to fit that there. However, if we go over, actually, there's a player in the way. We can't place it right now. Wait, we can place it here. Yes, look at that. We can place it there. It's just the player in the way, which is all right. But look at that. We now have this massive metal pavilion, which is so awesome. I really like it. It's awesome. Okay, so next up, we have to park our vehicles in there, but we'll do that in just a moment. But for now, we're going to sell this lamppost, get it out of the way. And I want to do some sort of landscaping alongside here. That's why I left this little gap, because it's not completely necessary. But at the same time, I think it'd be nice to have some sort of decoration on the farm. So we'll do that later. But for now, we have to get ready for the potato harvest. It is going to be ready in literally seconds. Well, maybe like 30 seconds or something. I don't know. But for now, we're going to go ahead, get this equipment out of the way. And we're just going to toss it somewhere else. I don't even really care where. As long as it's out of the way, it's fine. And look at that, guys. The potato is ready for harvest. Also, while we've been waiting for it to grow off camera a little, I did park all these vehicles up. I think it looks really nice. So now we have to go ahead and hop into our um, combine over here. And this is a, I think it's, if I remember correctly, it's the level five combine. It's great for harvesting potatoes. It can harvest any crop in the well, any like crop in the game, not trees or whatever, obviously. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and hop into here and begin harvesting the potatoes for a massive, massive payday. So this combine is really neat because it has a capacity of 600 potatoes, which is pretty convenient because you don't have to unload every single time or you don't have to reload as often. Uh, and it also does harvest three tiles at once, which is pretty substantial considering uh, this is a pretty large field and any less, um, it would have taken even longer. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue doing this uh, for several minutes. It's not gonna take too long. It's much easier than um, like preparing the field because you have to use your plow, then the cultivator, then you have to seed it, and then you have to wait. Whereas with this, you just have to drive around and pick up potatoes, which is pretty fun. 
And before this, I actually did have a much larger field if you've watched some of my previous videos where we had a field literally the size of my entire, um, well, I think literally this entire plot here, uh, which even includes the slots, which actually cost Robux to unlock. So that was a pretty massive farm back in the day. However, that is no longer because I don't really need that much money considering I already have everything I need in the game. So right now, just doing like farming or whatever in this game is just to like get money for no reason i mean there's no real reason i need money in this game right now unless like in the future there's things that are added so we're gonna go ahead and unload into our semi trailer and we have several of them making it really easy i mean i think it's more convenient than having silos just because these are mobile and you can park them wherever uh we're gonna go ahead and there we go that's empty and let's continue picking up these potatoes and it is almost nighttime which is um sad because it's super dark and you can't really see but oh well it is now nighttime and it is super super dark this is what it looks like so i'm not going to spend too much time uh filming me pick up these potatoes at nighttime because it's super hard it's like you have to strain your eyes just to see what i'm doing but there's still a whole bunch of potatoes we have to pick up and after that, I'll film me selling them because we are going to make some decent money. But before we actually sell, we have to wait for the right price. And the right price for potatoes is typically around 3000 Anything above 3000 definitely sell. But I tend to want to sell above 2000 like 950 or 2900 uh, per potato because that is a great profit. And it's definitely worth maybe even server hopping just to get the right price because... Um, it will just help you that much more, especially if you need the money, because every cent helps. And I forgot to mention this, but I literally mention it all the time, and its uh, I think a lot of people already know this, but potatoes are the best crop in the game to farm. So it does require a special set of equipment. So if you don't have like the level four potato harvester or this level five potato harvester, then I definitely recommend going with cabbage because it, it's it, that's also a pretty good crop. It does take a while to grow, but it does not require all this special equipment. Like you can use any level of combine to actually harvest it. So we're going to go ahead and finish up picking up all these potatoes. It's not that big of a harvest compared to previous ones. But like I said, we have a much smaller field compared to uh, days in the past. So not nothing too crazy, but still, this is going to be worth more than 5 million coins once we sell. And oh my goodness. So now the entire field has been harvested. The sun is rising momentarily, which is great because, I mean, it doesn't take that long to actually harvest them. So we're going to go ahead and I believe we actually might only have filled up three trailers. We might. Yeah, this is only three. Oh, gosh, I can't move. Uh, I'm stuck. So here we have unloaded the last bit of potatoes, and that's not even three full trailers. I think that one is still partially empty. So, I mean, it wasn't that big of a yield. However, this is still a lot of potatoes. I used to fill up, I think, five tractor trailers. That's why I have five, but I think I can go ahead and sell some of them because, well, I don't need them necessarily. So here we have 600, uh, 620 potatoes in this trailer. I should have filled some of them into here until this was filled, but I didn't realize there is still some space left. So we're going to drive over to the store just to check out the prices. Also, I need to move my equipment out of the way because it's sort of intruding on other people's farms and blocking the roadway, which isn't really nice. So we'll do that in a mo- oh gosh. We'll do that in a moment, but we're going to go ahead and squeeze through here. I don't have anyone to blame but myself for blocking that roadway. And let's see what the prices look like. I don't think they're going to be too good, but we have some really good prices for bamboo. The, oh, potato. Oh, that's a horrible price. That's 2000 That's only 2000 So we're going to wait on that. I'm going to park the trailers here uh, really quickly, uh, just so we can actually... Um, grab and go as we see the prices rise hopefully uh we're gonna go ahead and let's see we have this trailer here which isn't really full uh let's go ahead and hook up to one of these really oh gosh that person's just going everywhere uh, we're gonna go ahead hook up to this and then park it over here like so and continue repeating this and then we're just gonna have to wait for a decent price to sell at and now my amazon dot was talking to me i think you might pick that up in the microphone but uh that's pretty funny Oh, well, so let's park this here. Not exactly uh, perpendicular. Oh, gosh. A trailer? No. Where is it going? There's like no brakes on this. I don't know. I don't understand why. Excuse me, everyone. I don't want to blacklist anyone, but at the same time, I can't really do anything with everyone just getting in the way. Uh, we're going to go ahead 
we're gonna park this here like this and hopefully the brakes engage this time and it does not roll away and let's go ahead back up and go over to our final trailer which doesn't have that many potatoes in it but still we could sell for a profit and as we drive around the field, we can actually see some of the tiles I missed when I was planting the seeds, which is a bit of a bummer because that is lost money, but at the same time, it's not that much. So uh, we'll have to fill those in. We'll have to remember to do that later on. But now we have our three trailers lined up with a lot of potatoes. So I'm looking at the prices now. They update every five minutes. Right now they're at 2,700, which is a good price, but still I've seen better and I've sold for better. So we're gonna wait for better. So I'm still parking my equipment inside of this pavilion. And if the developers are watching this, hear me out. What if there were lights inside of this pavilion? I think, I mean, I feel as if, I don't think the lights would help anyway, but still I feel as if this thing is missing lights. It's just, I have the feeling. I don't think, I mean, I don't need lights. I can see perfectly fine, but still, I think it'd be helpful. Or no, not helpful. It'd be aesthetically pleasing. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead. We have this box of potatoes. I don't really have anywhere to put it, so I'm just gonna put it in this truck here. This is like, like this is like my old truck. I don't really need it, but I still have it because I own it. Um, I could sell it for money, but still, I don't feel like it. Uh, but anywho. Uh, right now, we are still waiting for the price of potatoes to change. So in the meantime, we're just gonna do some farm chores. I need that trailer. We're going to get in this pickup. Wait, do I have another? I thought I had like an R350 somewhere. Is that over here? I don't know where it is. Huh. I I, I mean, we'll just use this pickup truck for now, but I, I, I had a feeling I thought I owned that. Uh, I don't even know if that's a truck. I have a flatbed, but I don't know about the other. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to back up to this trailer really quickly. Is this we're going to load our, or our not potatoes, but our um, eggs onto from our chickens and eggs don't really sell for that much but still it's a nice little source of income especially uh just when you have nothing else to do on your farm so i guess i mean i'm just gonna drive around like this really quickly so i can get lined up with the chicken coops and then we can go ahead and load them up and look at this guys you have rainbow bamboo potato went down just a tad bit down about 100 so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sell our eggs we have an entire trailer load plus a box and this is like the biggest trail up oh, sorry I'm sorry I think that's the truck I'm talking about. I think I own that truck, but I don't know where it is. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to take our eggs over here um, and sell them. I mean, we have this entire trailer and this is not even the biggest trailer in the game. There's one that was sold in a game pass. I don't know if the game pass is still available, but it is. Um, it holds so many boxes. It has like three, six, seven, 21 entire boxes of eggs. And this goes for any box in the game, actually. So. I mean, definitely helpful to have such a large trailer. Uh, you can also buy the Game Pass to get even a larger trailer. But for now, we're going to stay with this one and not spend any more Robux. So we've gone ahead and sold all of our potatoes. Uh, there's that like little area over there with nothing going on in there. And I, I didn't mean potatoes, I meant eggs. So each egg crate sells for 600 coins, which is pretty decent. I mean, it's nothing too crazy um, when it comes to money, especially when compared to potatoes. But still... It is definitely cool to have. Oh, is my dog? I don't know what to do about this dog. Like, look at this darn dog here. I try to feed it. I have a feeder outside for him. And he's still sad. Like, food. Eat, eat the food. I literally... Ugh. <laughs> oh, I, I, I bought a dog thinking it'd be fun and everything. But now it's like so difficult to take care of because it won't eat and then i have to place down a container every time right next to it which costs two thousand dollars so that dog is very funky i'm not really entire oh gosh everyone's ramming me i'm trying to back my truck or not back but like drive my trailer into here Let's see it's still at an angle huh And we're also going to go ahead and sell this trailer right here. I mean, I don't really need it. I don't really have that many more potatoes to fit in it. So we're going to sell that just to get out of the way. I'll keep an extra one just in case. So now I have now I have a total of four trailers. And we're going to go ahead and we're parking the trailers outside of this pavilion. I think I'm just going to... Well, what, I th what I'm thinking about doing with this place... Is this, this is not my truck. No, I don't know. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing this, I'm just going to put some of my lesser used equipment in the back. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to park my commonly used stuff in here, so I'm going to go ahead and take the trailer out. 
I'm gonna park this maybe over here. And what I wanna put in here is like my uh, cocoa harvester, milk truck and all. Well, actually milk truck, I'm gonna put like over here once I get a milk factory down. But like this log cutter thing, I don't need that. So I'm gonna park that under the pavilion just because it's not really that useful. And I feel sorry for this farmer here because I am sort of on their farm, but there we go, we're out of the way. And I think we can check on potato prices. It's probably been five minutes. I, let's see. Uh, it's like the stock market always going down. Not just kidding. <laughs> but it's always going down. Or not always, but it's still going down. Right now it's at 2,400. So I'm still hoping for that awesome, nice, sweet number of 2,900 and above. Because that will be some awesome, awesome profit right there. But for now, if we want actually good prices, we have to be patient and wait. We could also server hop, but I don't really feel like that right now. I'm having too much fun in the server. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep waiting and checking in on the prices. Okay, so we're still waiting for potato prices. We're going to go ahead and, or while we're still waiting for potato prices, excuse me, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be good about my English or decent, I wanna speak correctly. So while we're waiting, we're gonna go ahead and do, a, we're gonna reduce the size of this cow pasture just because it's too big and I need to fit in a milk factory or whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna move all the animals into the barn and you guys, I, uh, well, I'm probably gonna forget about them. Let's see, how many cows? That's one, two, three, four. Where's the fifth one? I think it's probably over. He's probably over here just chilling. He or she, where is it? Where? Uh, okay. Are we missing a cow? Where? I had five cows. I don't remember one dying. Like, look at, let's look at the animal thing. Not one. One of, the, eh. one of the cows disappeared. I don't know where it went. Eh. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and. Gosh, I, I mean, I guess I, I don't know how to do this. I don't wanna. Cause I. So my dilemma is this, if I sell this fence, it deletes this entire thing. And then I don't know if I'll be, well, I, well my first concern is chickens. They're probably gonna run away. Secondly, I don't know if it'll fit again because there's buildings in the middle and stuff. But I mean, when in Rome, I don't know what the saying is. When in Rome, I don't know. We're selling this fence. Chickens are gonna run away. So we have to be quick about this. So let's go ahead. Uh, Buildings, let's see. Milk factory, where's the milk factory? Where is it, where is it? Well, actually, no, is it there? The milk factory, chocolate milk, animal food factory. I see all the other factories except milk. I'm probably just going over it many times. You probably, you guys probably see it. Chocolate milk. Oh wait, there is no milk factory. No, I'm silly. There is no milk factory. What am I doing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So we're gonna get down a wooden fence just to go along with the look. We're gonna put. The, can I put this here? If I can, it's, actually, no, I don't want that there. Cancel. Wooden fence. We're gonna try this again, and then we need to milk the cows so they don't starve to death that's happened before so let's go ahead why am i why can i not oh it's because this truck isn't whose truck is it please don't be mine or please be mine please move it out of the way thank you thank you appreciate it okay so let's go ahead we're gonna get this we're gonna put this right here like that there we go and then we need to go ahead and get let's see we need it where are the chickens oh the chickens are running away okay so now <laughs> oh I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and i'm gonna wait to sell the potatoes and now we have to go on a chicken hunt. I mean, we got the chickens. Uh, well, no, we got the fence built, luckily. But we still have to get the chickens, which have all escaped. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure all of them did. Let's see, one, two. Oh, wait, one actually, let's see. We're going to move them into here, I guess. Let's see. And then we're going to go ahead and get down outdoor. Where's the large bush? Hedge. We're going to put this right here. Yes, I, I don't know. This is a, a little bit stressful. So, we're still waiting for the prices to rise. Right now, red, 2,100 ish. But in the meantime, I got my dog in the field. I managed to organize this little area a little bit more. I built a new fence. I built some new hedges. I built a fence around my alien crop. We're making progress, but we're still waiting for these good prices. Okay, so we finally got good prices and now we need to sell, sell, sell. So I did server hopping. This is like my eighth server. It's a private server too, so no one's going to be in here with us. However, I've seen, I don't even know what the price is, but it looks pretty green to me. We're going to go ahead and take a little quick peek at that. Let's see. 
Oh, it's carrot. Oh, no. That's carrot. I don't know why they switched places. Why is potato at the top now? Or why is potato above carrot? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So, false alert. We still need to look for good prices. Okay, guys. So, finally, for real this time, we have really good price. And guess what? It's above 3000 which is insane. Unheard of. Well, I mean, it's heard of. But for me, unheard of. So, we're going to go ahead. And this was only a few servers later, too. It's in a private server again. Which I'm so excited about. I mean, it's not really, like, the legitimate way of selling in this game. But... For content, I guess. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell. Look at this. We also have rainbow what? Rice. Look at that. 3,008. That's such a good price. So let's go ahead and sell. Wow. Wow. Screenshot. Oh, whoops. That didn't work. Right. So 2.5 million for that. There we go. We're getting rich slowly. I'm going to go ahead and put this trailer right here. I'm just going to leave it. I don't really care right now. I just want to get it sold before the price changes. Got to do it quickly. Let's go ahead and do the second trailer load. This is only 311 potatoes, so not as many, but still, it's a decent amount. I'm going to go ahead and get a screenshot of that board. Pretty nice number. I've never had rainbow potatoes, but one day, for content, we will. Along with the UFO for the alien seeds, we're going to get that on video as well. It's just going to take a while because it's never happened to me. And finally... The last load of potatoes selling for nearly 2 million leaves us with a total of 5.7 million coins. Now that's pretty crazy. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider pressing the like button or subscribing. If you want to play this game, link to it will be in the description below. But before I do end today's video, I do have a shout out to all of my Discord server boosters and channel members for supporting us. So shout outs go out to... Noggle Films, The ISS, Syrup, One Mangry Gamer YT, Toast, Michael Harkin, Duckle Not Found, Baker Boy, Bean Boogie, Crop Mel, uh, Crop Mel, I don't know, uh, Devang, Doof, Finbar, Flame Boy, Flock, Hero, It's Me, The Knob, Kami, Noyami, Else, Nazab, Peekabot, Reed, Surf, Strom, 30 Plays, 1, 2, 3, UA, Ultra Legends, and Yay Blaze. So that's it, everyone. Have a great day, have a great life, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.